a rectangular bar of length of L has a slot in the central half of its length. The bar has width B, thickness T, and elastic modulus E. So it's parametric. The, the slot has width uh, B over 3. The overall length of the bar is 750 millimeters. And the elastic modulus of the material is 73 gigapascal. If the average normal stress in the central portion of the bar is 190 megapascal, calculate the overall elongation of this bar. What I need to do in this case would be splitting this structure into simple parts and then determining deformations in each part separately. The point here is I don't know how much is P, so I don't know how much is the force. I need to figure out a way to determine how much is that. At the middle part, the stress is equal to 190 megapascal. Let me draw the free body diagram. I will cut my structure from that uh, orange line. And if I consider this part and draw the stress acting on that, I would see this one. So I see that at this point, the stress is 190 megapascal. How much is the total resultant force acting on the left side of this structure? That would be stress times area, because stress is a force over area. If I multiply area by stress, I will get the resultant force acting at that point, okay? So I will write down the equilibrium equations. The equilibrium equation says that P on the opposite direction minus stress times area at that point, which is the resultant force of that stress, should be equal to zero. And from that, I can determine how much is P, okay? Um, how much is area of that part? It has a rectangular section, but it has a hole in between. So the total height is B, the hole here has height of B over 3, so it means that the total solid part in that part would be 2 thirds of B. The thickness is T, so I can plug the values. That would be B times T minus B over 3 times T, which is equal to 2 thirds of BT. All right? If I plug it back into that equation, I will get this equation for P. I determined force as a function of stress, as a function of width of this plate, and the thickness of this plate. Now, I can go and determine deformations in each part of this beam. In the first part here, how much is the internal force in that part? It's P, because the P is constant everywhere in that rod. So internal force is P. Um, the length of that is L over 4 which is 750 over 4. Module of elasticity is uh, 73 gigapascal, which is equal to 73,000 megapascal. And the area of that part is B times T. Okay? Because there's not any hole on that part. So that would be B times T. If I plug P from this equation into this deformation, I, the BT is canceling. So that's why I don't need to know how much is the thickness here. And the total deformation in that part would be 0 0.325 millimeters. Okay, good question. The question is, what if the force acting on the right side and the left side, they are not equal to each other? What should I do in that case? The answer is, this is impossible case. This is the incorrect case. Why? Because in that case, the element would not be in equilibrium. The element is moving. It is not in the stationary position, so I cannot analyze that. The force acting on the right and on the left, they should be equal to each other. I can determine deformation in the third part on the other side. I think that the deformation on the third part would be exactly the same as this one, because that is symmetric. So I don't do the calculations. And the final answer would be 0 0.325 millimeters. All right. How can I determine deformation in the second part? 
I will use the same equation, force times length divided by EA. But I would have different numbers here. So <clears throat> how much is the internal force in the second part? That would be again P. In this case, the force is constant everywhere in this uh, rod. So force is, uh, again, 2 thirds BT sigma. Length is L over 2, which is 75 millimeters divided by 2. Modular plasticity is 73 gigapascal. And how much is area? Area is A2, which is 2 thirds of BT. I will plug all values here. And the final deformation of the second part would be 0 0.976 millimeters. All right. <clears throat> How much would be that overall elongation of this bar? I simply add all the formations together because this element consists of three parts and I will add it together. And that gives me 1.626 millimeters. Okay. <clears throat>